subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wase here and in this video i am going to show you how you can buy and deploy your vps or virtual private server so that you can deploy your website or custom applications on the cloud using your servers so let's begin the video So basically VPS stands for virtual private server which means that you're not purchasing the whole server but you're purchasing part of the server and some of its resources. Some of the websites provide dedicated resources within that server using virtualization and some of the websites allow you to have shared resources so the load and performance may change. It will depend mainly on from which vendor you are purchasing your VPS. In this video, we are going to purchase VPS from InterServer. However, there are other providers available like Contabo or Hetzner. So it's all going to depend on your need and your preferences for any vendor. Anyways, let's move towards my machine and let me show you how you can purchase a VPS server. You are going to open this website interserver.net. Link will be in the video description just for your easiness. So they have different solutions available for the cloud. We are interested in a VPS so we are going to go to the cloud VPS section and then they have these different VPSs like Windows, VPS Home and Storage and so on. So we are going to click on VPS Home as I am going to buy a VPS server that has Ubuntu installed in it as an operating system because Ubuntu is much better for apps deployment and their uh, performance as compared to Windows but again it will depend on your personal preferences that which operating system do you require. Now once you are in the cloud virtual private server or the VPS section you have these different machines since I have selected the Linux VPS it's going to show me the prices for Linux if you want to go with storage you can select this one and if you want to go with Windows VPS basically which has Windows OS installed then you're going to go with the Windows section and you can see the prices will change according to your operating system within the inter server website. In my case I am going to select Linux VPS. Before you choose it you can uh, read the different uh, details or features that they tell about their VPS. Anyways <clears throat> you're going to click on the show all button and here you will see the prices accordingly. So if you want a VPS that has one core, two GB of RAM, 40 GB of SSD storage, which is good as it is SSD, not HDD. So it will be fast. You can buy it for $3 a month. Then we have one core, four GB of RAM and so on. So you're going to select the slice according to your need that fulfills your requirements. In my case, I am going to select the sli six slices, one which has three cores, 12 GB of RAM and 240 GB of SSD storage as it can easily run my uh, applications. I am going to click on buy now. Now here it will ask you to sign in to your inter server account. If it is your very first time you are going to click on sign up. Here you need to enter your email and password. They will share a link. Just verify your uh, email and click on next. Once you have signed in it will show you this order VPS page. First of all on the top it is showing you the specs that you have selected. The platform is KVM. You can select the location. So it will depend on which locations that InterServer supports. Then you need to select your number of slices, the image or the operating system that you want installed, which is Ubuntu. And then the version. In my case, it is 24.0464 bit. And then the root password. And make sure that you basically use this password or enter any strong password of your choice because this will be used to access the virtual machine or the VPS later. So make sure that you uh, type a strong password and remember it. I am going to click on continue. Here again it is showing all the details for review. I am going to agree to the terms and conditions and I am going to click on place order. Now since I have made a new account I first of all need to add my billing address. So I am going to click on this. Now. On the side menu click on billing and then click on cart. Again make sure that you have selected the correct VPS and in payment options you can pay via card, PayPal or Coinbase. I am going to pay using card. Click on select card. Just select the card that you have just added and click on pay now. So you can see the payment is successful. You can see the VPS status is pending setup. 
so we have to wait a little time so you can check it after an hour and the VPS should be set it up after an hour you can just simply click on the VPS button and here you can see under the active menu you can see your VPS if I click on the settings you can see all the details including the package billing and the host server and here you will see your IP address so you can use this IP address to connect to your VPS since I have a Ubuntu based VPS it does not have any GUI so I can connect to it via terminal on Mac or command prompt or Windows PowerShell on Windows machine so just simply copy the IP address of your VPS machine now open terminal or uh, Windows PowerShell depending on your OS and now we need to write a command so the command is ssh root because this is basically the name at the rate your IP so in IP you are going to paste the IP address that you copied of your machine copy this command simply paste it in the terminal and click on enter are you sure you want to continue connecting so I am going to click on yes and it will save the ssh key in my uh, machine now we need to enter the root password that we have set it up when we were purchasing our uh, VPS so I'm going to enter mine here here you can see after entering the password welcome to Ubuntu this so yeah guys in this way you can buy and deploy your VPS on the cloud and now you can further install applications or your websites accordingly if you guys found this video helpful make sure to like it subscribe to my channel and enable bell notifications if you have any comments write them in the comment section below and that's all for today thank you for watching and as always stay safe